Here's your latest headlines with Sierra Tufts from the Wayne.com studio. Good morning and thank you for joining us. It is Monday, June 17th. Here are your morning headlines. Today, a man charged with murder for the death of an employee at a Waynedale Kroger will be in court for another competency hearing. Jamar Lewis is accused of stabbing Perla Nieto in December. At the time, investigators said they did not believe Lewis knew Nieto, but words might have been exchanged between them earlier that morning before Lewis was asked to leave the store. His attorney requested that he be evaluated by mental health professionals professionals. They'll determine whether he's competent to stand trial and his sanity at the time of the crime. Lewis's first competency hearing was last month. Today's is scheduled for 930. Fort Wayne police are investigating after a man was killed in a shooting in, in the northeast part of the city. Police officers say they were called to the 6,000 block of Malin Cove just after 5 yesterday morning. They found two men inside the home, both suffering from gunshot wounds. Medics took them to the hospital, one in life-threatening condition and the other in fair. The man with more severe injuries did not make it. Police say they got conflicting suspect information from witnesses. Authorities say many of the witnesses were impaired at the time of the shooting. No arrests have been made so far and no clear suspect information has been given. Coming up later today, Fox Island will officially open after more than two years after a derecho hit the park. Plus tonight there is a special meeting for the Fort Wayne Community School Board where they will appoint a new member. Plus it is a Fury 15 Fury Alert Day and it's going to be a 15 Fury Alert Day for the rest of the week. We'll take a look at that right now. All right, looking at those weather headlines, we are in an excessive heat warning, and that continues throughout the rest of the week. It officially starts at 11 this morning and will go until Friday. We do have high humidity, and it's going to continue to build, and we are going to be overnight very, very warm. Looking at Storm Tracker right now, we see a system off to the west that could bring us some storms tonight. We'll talk about that in just a second, but giving you a closer look right now, not a whole lot going on, a little bit of cloud cover here and there, but uh, speaking of that system, it's going to build the humidity today. We could see some showers and storms after 4 o'clock this afternoon, which could help us with the humidity, but it's not going to help for too long. We will see that humidity continue to build throughout the rest of the week. Looking at your hourly planner, we'll see temperatures rise to the mid-90s today. We do have those small chances to see some rain showers and sh storms. And then looking at our winds coming from the southwest about 10 miles per hour, so there is going to be a little breeze for us today. Giving you a look at Parkview field tin caps are in town during the sweltering week so if you are going out to any games this week make sure you're planning on drinking plenty of water and staying in the shade as long as you can and wear that sunscreen as well because it's going to be very toasty giving you a look at your exclusive 10-day forecast yeah you can see we've issued 5 15 fury alert days and that's because of that excessive heat warning once that warning goes into effect we issue the alert days which means we will be keeping an eye on this severe weather related to heat throughout the rest of the week. Our temperatures throughout the rest of the week continue to be in the mid 90s mostly and with the exception of tomorrow, which will be in the lower 90s. But either way, very, very warm week ahead of us. Our overnight lows only in the mid-70s as well, so not a lot of relief when it comes to the nighttime either. So right now, make sure you're planning on what you need to do to stay safe, cool, hydrated. Make sure you're checking on your loved ones, checking on pets, and just doing what you need to do to stay safe and cool. We'll be back here at noon for you. We'll also see you at the news at noon. In the meantime, have a good morning.